made even sunnier with my guest in studio. And literally, because I had I saw the interview schedule, and I went to talk to Jasmine, our office manager, and I said, uh, "Do is there any other information I need about this guest?" And she goes, "Well, she just got here." I turned around, and was like, "Oh." Because there she is, Tiara and Sash, and looking as as very um, Miss Santa Clarita. This is going to be Miss Santa Clarita Madison Summers. Good morning, and welcome to the Hometown Morning Show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, so this is now. First of all, I I said beauty queen earlier, and I was kind of like, is that like a phrase we use anymore? Is that something kind of outdated? Am I? Did I? Is that something from like the sixties? <laughs> well, you know, you're not necessarily wrong because the program does start with a beauty pageant. You go up on stage, there's swimsuit and evening gown and ball gown. Um, but it's really more about who you are than what you look like. Ah. You know, um, before the pageant even starts, you have an interview with the judges. And you, at the very end of the night, you have your speech. And both of those are weighted much more heavily than what you wear or what you look like. Well, I've been out here since uh, 1993, and I've known Miss, some Miss Santa Claritas from back then mm-hmm. who still live in the Valley, have yeah. their own kids, and a lot of them have become very, very successful. Now, I want to ask you, how do you get involved in this? Because you mentioned you were on the air about uh, five years ago mm-hmm. as Miss, uh, is it Junior? Miss Teen. Miss Teen. Yeah. Santa Clarita. And is this, uh, is this something kind of a, an aspiration? Is it something you're kind of guided by your parents? Or how did this happen? Well, back in 2012, when I decided to run for Miss Teen, uh, I didn't really want to do pageants. You know, I wasn't really that kind of person. I was very uh, combat boots, running around in the dirt kind of a person. And I, this is going to sound really funny, I watched toddlers and tiaras and I was like, I want to wear a big dress. And I did a lot of research, and I read a little bit about those, and I realized they weren't really who I was as a person. And uh, my dad pointed me towards the Miss Santa Clarita Valley program, and I did it. And the very first time I ran, I won. And I got to do a year of that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And, um, And that was a lot of fun. You know, it was really cool to be Miss Teen because, like, you just got to introduce yourself to the community because I was born here. You know, I was born at Henry Mayo and lived here my whole life. And there's a lot of things you don't know about the city you live in until you're pushed into it. That's it. You'd be surprised how many people who live, like, in Canyon Country or other parts don't realize, don't know where, like, um, Hart Park is. Yeah. Or, you know, that, that we have a master's college around a plaza for your kids. So it's amazing that people just, uh, so it's really good to point those things out. Yeah. Or some people who live on this side of town and don't realize there's a Walmart in Candy Country now. Exactly. It's amazing. But uh, uh, talking about this, so, so Miss Santa Clarita, what do you do now? Well, with the Miss Santa Clarita Valley program, we do a lot of like community service. We spend a lot of time... Um, like fundraising for things. We I just recently was at the Boys and Girls Club Gala at the Hyatt, and they had this amazing auction. We like helped run the auction. We did like spotting. We like raised up these little lights when someone was trying to bid, and they raised so much money that night, and it was really really cool because we got to be there to have that kind of a difference. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. So is when we talk about the competition here, does it does it get really competitive or is everybody kind of like a one one for all or whoever yeah. gets it is the one who gets it? It's really a sisterhood. Oh, good. You know, you spend so much time with these people preparing for the pageant. You know, I think we started back in, I think around Christmas for a March pageant. And you spend all these time with these people and nobody really knows who's going to be the winner, which is kind of a weird thing to say, the winner, because... It's the recipient. The recipient of the title. Well, because even when you don't win the big title, there's princess titles. And even if you don't win one of those, you can still come to events. So it doesn't really matter who wins. And that kind of facilitates that kind of sisterhood because the people you meet in the program, you know, for the rest of your life. So, uh, you know, no, like sabotaging the, no. the you know, thing like that. Well, that's good. So no, actually, if you have the, now, is there a talent portion? There isn't. In oh, our okay. Pageant, but you definitely get the chance to talk about it in your interview. So if you do something special like you, uh, the Miss Teen right now, she has this charity called Bunnies Who Care and she makes Easter baskets for kids who are, who are in need. And she was able to talk about that in her interview, and I'm sure that definitely impressed the judges. So uh, uh, let me see if there's, uh, do they ask you the question, like, if you could, what would you do to facilitate world peace? Well, I don't think I necessarily get that big. Uh, But in your interview, they asked me, like, if you could have lunch with three famous people, who would you have lunch with? And was that was I one of? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm sure if you'd come into my head at the moment, because I didn't prepare for that question. That's true. And I mean, it's kind of good. I'm kind of glad that I didn't, because then it was more authentic. 
Like it was just the first people that popped into my head. Well, speaking of questions, mm -hmm. I'm going to surprise you. Okay. Madison Summers, Miss Santa Clarita Valley 2017. Ah, okay. So these are called the Fast Five, KHTS Fast Five. These are questions. Okay. Are you ready? I don't have a buzzer or a timer, so <laughs> we just have to pretend, okay? Okay. Okay. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Oh, that's kind of a really good question because I think about that a lot. Um, I'd probably clean more because I spend a lot of my waking hours doing so much else. And I feel like if I had that extra time, I would just, my house would be so clean. Like there would be no dust. There would be no <laughs> dust. A dust free home with your extra time. What job would you be terrible at? Um, oh, wow. Probably directing traffic. <laughs> <laughs> because I am scared of standing in the road. Whenever the, tra the cross light comes on, I run. I don't like walking across the street because I don't want to get hit by a car. <laughs> I have directed traffic at one point in my young, young life, uh -huh. and I'm telling you, you're right. So okay. that is, it, is, it is a tough job. At least my fears aren't unfounded. There you go. <laughs> Aliens just landed in Santa Clarita. You are in charge of giving them a tour. Now, this is right up your alley. Oh, perfect. Where would you go first? Um, Six Flags. Six Flags. Yeah. I mean, I don't really like roller coasters myself, but it's kind of a crazy purely human experience because we purposefully put ourselves in these positions where it's like thrill seeking and adrenaline and I think that's kind of a really interesting part of being a human. And you really do have a cross section of society of course. at Magic Mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some small things that make your day better? Well, I'm a makeup artist. That's what I do when I'm not wearing my crown and sash. And that little time I get to spend in front of the mirror in the morning making myself look the way I think I should look and the way I would like other people to see me, I think is a good Zen part of my day. And I have a dog, so that uh, 10 minutes a day I spend sitting with him on the couch, giving him loves in the morning, I think definitely makes my what day What kind better. of dog do you have? He is an Australian Shepherd mix. Ooh, I'm a huge dog fan, that's why oh, I have yeah. to ask. Uh, what is something that is considered a luxury, but you don't think you could live without? Oh, well, I really like naps. Ooh, they're good. They are really good. And a lot of people are like, oh, I have never have time for a nap, but I need more sleep than that. So you got to make time. That middle of the day, it kind of gives know. that boost of energy. I got right? to have a nap yesterday and it was amazing. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Naps. Are, I, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. It's, yeah. a, it's uh, I think that is terrific. Madison Summers, Miss Santa Clarita <laughs> 2017. This has been a lot of fun. It was nice to talk to you. And I wish you the best of luck and continued success. Thank you. And uh, possibly even see you around a little of bit. Of course. Of yeah. Course. Uh, thank you so much.